uh, on here a few minutes early, just worshiping the Lord, praying for you guys. I just wanted to come on. I knew a lot of people may not log in until closer to 12, but I wanted to everybody to get the notification and have time to get water, have time to uh, get notes if they want to take notes. And I know some people are watching the rebroadcast. And so I just wanted to, to pray before we get started and let everybody have time. There's like a delay of the notification on uh, Facebook. Um, it's usually about a minute or two delay. I know some of you guys that have signed up for this webinar have taken webinars with me before. So you kind of know what to expect. So I'm, I'm just going to try to teach for an hour, give you a five minute break and then teach for the next hour. I'll try to get it all done in the two hour mark. Um, and try to allow you time to do question and answers. But I, I just, I'm so excited to unpack this when the Holy Spirit says to speak it. I just sense an unlocking in each one of your voices. So let me just pray for you as people may be logging in. I know I'm about five minutes early. So Lord, I just thank you for everyone that watches the replay or who's, who signed up for this class, Lord. I just decree and declare over them. I'm just praying. Somebody's logging in. I'm just praying. Um, type a comment when you log in so I just know that you're live. I just wanted to give people time to find the broadcast. So Lord, I just decree and declare unto everybody under the sound of my voice. Whoa. That you just find any distraction during this class or when they watch the replay. Hey, Joanna, I'm so excited. I just get on early to pray. Hey, Bambi, how are you? Just getting on here to pray and uh, give you all a few minutes to get live on the broadcast. I'm so excited about teaching this. Um, I'm going to start from the foundation up. As you're logging in, um, also, as I start praying for you guys, let me know if the gift of prophecy is new to you. I want to know how deep to go into the foundation of the gift of prophecy. Um, if you just say it's new to me or I've been doing it a long time or I've been doing it for a short time, um, just to know where you guys are at and how deep um, you want me to go into um, the teaching specifically on the gift of prophecy before we go into prophetic flow. So Lord, I just thank you under the sound of my voice as everybody's logging in or watching the replay that you unlock their voice during these next two hours, Lord, that you give them revelation. Like I said, you bind distraction. We just ask you, Lord, to encourage them to stir their gift up, Lord. I just declare they have the hungry to stir the gift up of prophecy. Whoa. I just bless each and one, every single one of their giftings. Lord, their callings, their assignment upon the earth. In Jesus' name, I just thank you for this time. I just thank you for unity. Lord, I thank you for activation as we activate people online. Lord, that, that, that they um, grow. I just speak growth over everybody under the sound of my voice. In Jesus' name, thank you, Holy Spirit. I just I dedicate this time to you, Holy Spirit. I thank you make yourself known whoa, to each person because this is your gift. This is a gift that you give, Holy Spirit. I thank you, Lord, that they, um, I know about it, but never really tried. Okay, that's fine. Um, we have people come on here that have been prophesying a long time. We have people just beginning. So I'm just going to do um, activations and, and start at the basis to lay a foundation of prophecy so that you um, are going to have revelation as I teach this so that you will move more and more and more in this prophetic gifting. So Lord, I just thank you for your presence here as well. God, this is your webinar, Jesus, Holy Spirit, the Trinity. This is your webinar. And I thank you for blessing my friends. I thank you for the revelation that they're going to have during this webinar or watching the replay in Jesus name. I know some people text me, they can only get on the replay, but that's fine. I'm getting ready to dive in. I just want everybody to find the webinar and be ready before 12. We got about two minutes. Um, but that's the nice thing of the webinar age that you can watch the replay over and over again, that you can, um, some people bought it and they can't watch it till next Saturday. And that's fine. If you're on here live though, I will do some activations with you live. 
Um, you, you can also um, do some of these activations. I'll give you some prophetic activations to do with a friend that you trust if you cannot be on here live because activation is key. The more you prophesy, the more you will grow in it. And that's the goal. So, all right. I think I'm ready to unlock some teaching. Um, one more minute. People are logging in still. All right. Well, let's talk about the gift of prophecy first. Since um, some people are new at, new at it, some people are not. Well, let's talk about what the Bible says about the gift of prophecy. It says for, in 1 Corinthians 14, to pursue love, yet desire earnestly spiritual gifts, especially that you may prophesy. For the one who speaks in tongues does not speak to men but to God, for no one understands, but in his spirit he speaks mysteries. So right here, but for the one who prophesies, we speak to men for edification, exhortation, and consolation. So if you're, I'm talking about moving in the gift of prophecy is what the word is talking about, especially that you should prophesy because you are speaking life. You are speaking encouragement over people. God needs your voice in this area. And it's also a gift of the Holy Spirit. You need to understand that it's for every believer. The gift of prophecy is for every believer. I see, um, confusion about that so i like to teach the word says in first corinthians 12 now there's a variety of gifts but the same spirit and there are a variety of ministries with the same lord there are a variety of effects but the same god who works things in person and then you skip down you know um talks about the gift of faith the gift of various tongues the gift of interpretation the gift of miracles so the gift of prophecy is a gift to the body of christ it's an absolute gift that every believer can walk in and um, exhort people. It is for edification, comfort, and exhortation. So usually a prophetic word is positive. It's totally positive. It is a gift and a grace that's going to come on you. As I impart to you on this webinar, you're actually sowing into an impartation of the prophetic anointing that I carry Every, every dime you sow to the ministry goes to um, ministry, like missions or equipment that we need or um, materials or, or travel. It all goes to the ministry. But you're actually sowing into a prophetic anointing. So expect your prophetic gifting to go higher. I'm just creating a hunger. And, and I want you to know when you're activated in this, this is a gift for life. You can, you know, when Holy Spirit activates you and you use it, you will grow and grow and grow and grow the more you use it. So I just want to pray over you and then I want to show you what a prophetic activation is so that you can have understanding. Because as soon as I impart to you, I know some of you guys have not practiced and some of you have even watching the replay, but I'm going to ask you to do these um, activations with a friend. Um, I've went to many trains, spent thousands of dollars traveling and equipping, learning, equipping to train people in this gifting. I've watched how people have activated, and this is the most successful way is to actually get you out of the box. And these are the way they did activations over and over and over. So if it sounds different, I'm just telling you the leaders have seen great success and I'm not going to reinvent the wheel because I've seen how powerful it grew my own gift. So Lord, I just impart to everybody under the sound of my voice, whoa, new levels of prophetic fire, anything I carry, I walk in miracles, healing, signs, wonders, deliverance, anything that I carry that, they're, that they need for their assignment on the earth, freely I received, I freely give to everybody under the sound of my voice in Jesus' name. I see God activating dreams for people, whoa. I see God touching somebody. You might feel fire in your hands. I see God imparting healing anointings. Discerning of spirits is really high in my life. I just impart anything in my assignment that you need. All right, so let's get into some prophetic activations before we do a bunch of teaching um, because that's the way that you're going to grow. And I see that Bambi and Joanna, you are on here live. So I'm going to have y'all release a word to each other. That's how we're going to do this. And then people watching the replay, um, I ask you to do this with a friend. Surely you have a friend that you can trust to prophesy over. 
And um, so one of the things I'm going to have you do as a prophetic activation is I want you to ask the Lord to speak to you an animal. What kind of animal? And Bambi, I want you to um, ask the Lord what kind of animal is Joanna in the spirit? And then ask him why. And um, Joanna, I want you to do the same thing for Bambi and just type it in there. Um, what kind of animal is Bambi and why? And if you're at home or you're watching the replay, I want you to do this activation with a friend. And it's okay. You're not a false prophet if you miss it. Absolutely not. You are practicing. So if you don't like the word you get, flush it. If you don't agree with the animal, flush it. But we are practicing because the more you do this, the more you grow. So Bambi just, um, or Joanna, as soon as you see, you may see the animal, you may sense the animal, you may know the animal, just ask the Holy Spirit, what animal, and type it in the box. Thank you, Lord. And as soon as the Lord gives you something, we'll share it. And don't be, one of the things is just practice, 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 practice the gift of prophecy. The more you practice, the better you get. But you have to get out of your head. I'll praise God. So Joanna, she saw a dove and you that you were full of grace. Amen. So you can like that one, Joanna, if that residents. All right. So Joanna, you see, uh, yeah, you, you guys are seers. I love it. I'm going to dive into that a little bit then because I have my shirt on. I'll show it to you guys. Uh, it's a time for the seers to soar. So I'm, I'm just, I may end up doing a, uh, I'm so glad that you guys are seeing that tells me how you guys flow in the spirit. But I may do it. I've done a teaching on uh, prophets and seers before. It's so cool. Ferocious in the spirit. All right. Y'all did great with that exercise. All right, now we're going to do another prophetic activation because the more you do it, the better. Um, let's pick a cereal box. I want each one of you guys, same people, since you're on here live, to pick a cereal box. And I want you to ask what cereal the other person is and why. And you guys were dead on. I'm so proud of you guys. You got it. This is, this is just what prophetic activation is. So if you're watching the replay, phone a friend and do this with a friend. And, and even activate your friend in the gift of prophecy. Impart to them and get, let them give you a word back. So pick a cereal box and ask the Holy Spirit, why, what cereal is Joanna and what cereal is Bambi? And we'll dive into the teaching we will get deep, but activations are so important. Activations are so important because it gets you out of your head and it gets you flowing and trust in Holy Spirit. So what cereal box is Joanna and what cereal box is Bambi? And once you get that, type it in. And we'll definitely make up for it in the time of teaching, but I want you guys to really stretch yourself in the prophetic and everybody watching the replay. Lucky charms, treasures inside of you. Amen. See, y'all are getting this. It's that easy. Getting out of your head and getting out of the fear of prophesying. I love that. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And you guys are seers, so I'm going to touch um, a little bit about the seeing gift before we start unlocking your prophetic flow. All right, Bambi, let's see if you got a cereal box for... Um, Joanna and then we'll move on to the next I'm going to switch it up on you guys and you can challenge yourself daily um, to give a prophetic word I, I grew in this a lot in the restaurants um, oh, honey bunches of oats pure loving nature you guys are doing so good I'm going to switch it up on you guys now make it a little bit uh different for each each under the replay. I want you to ask the Holy Spirit for a smell because some people that's how they prophesy. They smell things. Um, so ask the Holy Spirit what for a smell for the other person and then type what he gives you. You could smell honey that that person's full of revelation. I'm just giving you an examples. 
And these are just prophetic activations because we're actually activating your spiritual senses, sight, taste, smell to prophesy. That way you can use all of uh, what God intended you to use to be able to release words over people. So just um, Bambi and Joanna ask for a smell and see if God gives you a scent for the for the other person. Thank you, Jesus. It's exciting. See how easy it is to release a prophetic word when you get out of your head. So like I said, me and my husband grew the most in this. Yes, we did it in ministry school. Yes, we prophesied, 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 prophesied. That's how you grow. We prophesied, you know, you line people up and you just prophesy over the whole row because the Holy Spirit has a word for everybody. He really does. So you can grow in this gift as much as you want to use it. But a lot of times we would ask the Holy Spirit, for a word for your rest for your every time you go out to eat and just ask ask the Holy Spirit do they have kids and listen to see if they have kids or not and then just ask them see if you got it right or see if you got it wrong and if you missed it you missed it then try again that's how you grow in the gift of prophecy you try again you try again you just say I'm practicing hearing from the Lord I really feel like I mean that's an easy line that you can use for waitresses um, I really feel like um, the Lord is saying this. Peppermint, awaken the spirit. Oh, I love that. Lord, we just declare she's awakened the spirit. See how good you guys are doing this prophetic. You're better at it than you know. We'll do a few more because I want to just make sure you're activated and everybody in the replay is activated in these same areas. This is one of the most important things you can do on a prophetic class because you learn you do hear from the Lord in all directions. To so peppermint, I love that. Wake of the spirit. That's so awesome. But yeah, you just practice this at Walmart. Practice this at Target, wherever you shop. Ask the Lord to highlight one person. Ask the Lord. And you could just say, I'm practicing hearing from the Lord. And I really feel like he has this to say to you. And if they don't receive it, that's okay. You know, that's that's part of risk. Risk is part of prophecy. But what if the one, the one as you go grow in this gift, the one you gave that word to, and it changes their life? Um, I remember I was in a restaurant and I gave a word to the Lord that I felt so strong, so strong. Don't ignore those little tiny promptings. I gave her a word. And I don't remember what it was because when I give words, I just trust the Holy Spirit and then I move on. I don't record, you know, I don't usually record them when I'm out at a restaurant. I just say whatever the Lord's saying to me. And uh, did you get one, Bambi? Make sure I give you enough time to get a smell. Lavender. Okay, Bambi, ask her what the lavender, ask the Holy Spirit what the lavender means. Um, but I was in this restaurant. I gave the, our waitress a word, and I have been doing this for some time. That's how you grow in the gift of prophecy because you're doing this stuff every day. You have to make it easy and accessible if you want to grow in this gift. You have to steward it. I impart to you today, but if you don't go out and prophesy, you won't grow. And I don't believe any of y'all are going to do this because you're hungry for the things of God and you want to prophesy. So I came back to the, the table, and the waitress was crying when she saw me. Um, I think it was like a month later. I didn't even remember the word I gave her. She was crying. Oh my gosh, that word changed my life. I'm so thankful that you came in here and you gave me that word. So be encouraged as you grow in this, what the Holy Spirit's going to do to allow you to change people's life. And I know I'm going really fast. Um, Bambi, I'll let you see if you got a, if you don't, that's okay. But ask the Holy Spirit. What does lavender mean for Joanna? And as you're doing that, I'm going to um, teach some and then do some more activations during the teaching so the people on the replay and the people that are live can continue in activations. I just want to make sure I get all this material to you. I will teach for an hour. We'll take a five-minute break and then go back for another hour because I know I'm covering a lot. So sometimes as people are growing in the gift of prophecy, they find out that they carry the office of the prophet. They normally do not know at first as God awakens them to their gift or their calling. I want you to be able to understand what the gift of prophecy is versus a prophet. 
so that if people ask you, well, what is prophecy? You're going to be able to tell them, well, what's that and the difference of a prophet? Um, I want you to be able to know that uh, prophecy is the gift of the Holy Spirit, which is a prophet is a gift of Christ. Um, God chooses the, the people that walk in the office of a prophet. They don't have, uh, but they have a choice to cooperate or not, but God chooses that, whereas every believer can prophesy. A prophet, the difference in a prophet versus a prophetic gifting, because you can prophesy names, dates, phone numbers, and a high, you can have a very extremely high gift of prophetic gifting. But the difference in an office of a prophet, if you run into one in your church or in one of these training centers, you may have a um, somebody give you a word that's not exhortation comfort because they actually direct, they lead you in direction, they bring correction, they warn, they govern, and they equip. People in the office of a prophet, they equip other believers in prophesying. And this is a calling of God for life if you're a prophet. Because as you grow in prophetic gifting, that's usually when people have revelation. People will come alongside of you and confirm, I see an office of a prophet on you. I see God will align people by the, by the Holy Spirit that will speak your destiny into you. Whereas prophecy is a gift for life. And both are very high value to God. God values both. He created both for a reason. And we need to expect uh, lavender field of revelation. Sorry, there might be a little delay on my screen. I love that. Lavender fields of revelation. So we just declare that word. Um, as you guys get words for each other, I want you to, to put a demand on to, in the spirit. So just receive the word, like it if you receive the word, and um, put a demand, say, Lord, I just received filled a revelations, Joanna. Just receive that from her and make a declarations. Um, I want you to understand, too, that we all have a right to see in the Spirit as children of God. You guys both say you saw, which tells me that you already see, because people flow in and out of prophetic giftings in different ways, and that's what I want to talk about a little bit. Um, prophetic people are partnering with the Holy Spirit. That's your main thing. You're partnering with the Holy Spirit for a gift of words of knowledge, which is um, something past, something present. Um, wisdom can be something in the future. A gift of wisdom that could be something in the future. And the more I want to say this, I cannot say this enough. When I was in the school of supernatural, we had to go. We had five assignments each week to go prophesy to somebody and see how they react. Like prophesy to your mom. See if she receives it. Prophesy to your dad or go to a stranger or go to a restaurant. Go um, ask the Holy Spirit who you're supposed to prophesy to today. Prophesy to a friend online. Like I want you to give yourself assignments to grow. I would say after this class, try to prophesy to five people a week. If that's too much, try three. Try two. Set a goal. Set a goal on how you're going to cultivate this gifting. Um, prophets will see and activate other people.